I know it's been a while since I made a YouTube video and I have been busy. I've still been in school. Let me go ahead and show you guys my hair. I decided to dye it black. So right now it's black and yeah, I, you know, it's, it's pretty hard for me to keep the same color going and I had my purple and my blonde and it was really adorable. But my face started looking weird to me and I was just like, you know what, I'm going to go back to my natural color. And black is just like one level darker than my actual color is. So it's working out. I really like it. I wanted to talk about just a couple things that I've been thinking about that have really been helping me go through life. And the first thing that I wanted to talk about is the fact that I was outside on my porch the other day, this was probably a couple weeks ago now, and I thought about the fact that we're all energy and stardust and everything, and I was singing and doing my thing, you know, because I was a little tipsy, and when I get tipsy I like to sing and, you know, just enjoy myself the best that I can. I used to have a lot more privacy. Right now it is kind of hard for me to find the time to be comfortable enough to let loose like that. And then I had gone back outside the next day and I gave myself some consolation and I realized that we're all basically just shining human stars. Basically the way that we're living is just emitting light and emitting frequency and emitting energy which is basically what stars do and it made me start to think and recognize that we're all just shining at different levels and we're all exposing more light than others you know we're just all shining at different spectrums and it's okay to shine your light you know we're all doing that so I can't help it but if I hear you know people talking outside the apartment complex or you know music or anything I just think like they're just shining being themselves they're just shining their light and it you know we all shine different kinds of light at different times but at the end of the day we're just all shining and we shouldn't be ashamed of the fact that we're all shining our light so that helped me to feel more comfortable with myself and less embarrassed about oh I was out here singing who who heard me you know just I'm just like you know whatever I was enjoying myself I was emitting a happy frequency and that's all that I ever needed to do and nobody can judge me for shining we're all just shining so yeah, another thing that I thought of the other day, it's been it's been a few weeks now, but this has helped me get through these days is wait, am I in focus? Yeah, I'm in focus. The other thing I've been thinking about is the fact that we're all overgrown children. Like we're all essentially the same essence as children are we're just in bigger bodies and we've had more experiences that have shaped us into different people but at the end of the day we're all just children in big bodies and that's helped me when I look at other people I've just been thinking about the fact that we all started out as kids and we're all still those kids we're just in different bodies and that has made my heart open a lot more in regards to looking at other people and their decisions and we're all children we're all essentially the same childlike essence that has been you know changed or whatever throughout time but we're still that person so yeah i mean if i can do it you can do it, it makes me feel a lot more oneness with people for sure and a lot less intimidated the the afterthought of that is for you guys to adventure on just like for me to journey on is to keep that in mind when I'm dealing with other people but it has made me a lot less shy and a lot less concerned about other people's opinions because I realize that I'm equal to them and if I'm making a decision that I think that they might not agree with that is totally all right because I came from the same childlike essence as they did and I'm just I had a different life so I'm doing different things it's not about oh they're looking down on me as an adult or or you know I should be this way as an adult or this and that it takes a lot of the pressure off and it makes me feel a lot more one with everybody so 
I hope I got that point across, but that's another thing that I've been thinking about along with the shining that has really... The shining? Made me feel better. And then I guess I wanted to share one other thing with you guys right now. I had another dream that is worth talking about, in my opinion, and... I have been having really vivid dreams, of course, but like I say in all my other dream journal videos that not many of them are coherent enough to express to for public conception. But I had a really interesting dream the other day. I had a dream that I walked into a room and it was a really tiny room, uh, almost like the size of a trailer. And there was a huge elephant in there and the elephant was uh, white with black letters like going around kind of like its neck part and around its shoulders and around like its hips you know and the language was like a black Tetris looking language it looked a lot like it, it wasn't filigree but it had the aesthetic presence of filigree almost like a decorum it was really pleasing to the eye but it, I knew when I looked at the elephant that it was a language of some kind and uh, I walked up to it and I just gave it a big hug and I was like oh my gosh what a beautiful elephant oh my goodness hi you know and there was somebody behind it in a different part of the trailer and I looked over like look at this huge elephant and he didn't really seem to care I just gave it a big hug and it was so big, it was taking up the room. Like, I was surprised that it was even being able to be fit in there. It, it was telling me telepathically that it was really snug and tight in that space and that it was kind of uncomfortable and that it couldn't stay in that space because it was too big. And I just kept hugging it and saying like, it's gonna be okay, it's gonna be okay, we're gonna figure it out, we're gonna, you know, get you out of here, it'll be fine. So yeah, that was an interesting dream. Um, if you guys have any thoughts or interpretations on that dream, let me know. Obviously, I think it was a vi visitation for s a visitation of some kind, um, or even a metaphor. It, I mean, it was a big elephant in the room. So I don't know. I thought that was pretty interesting, and. Yeah, so I've never been a person that's been super drawn to elephants. I know that there are people in my life, in my immediate life, who just are crazy about them. So if you're a fan of the Ivan Teller channelings or any kind of cha channelings, period, if you're not, obviously you're not going to know what I'm talking about after this point. So thanks for watching and I hope you have an awesome day. But uh, if you are familiar with channelings, you know about light language and you know about when a, a language comes in randomly, like a tuning, or I mean, it's called a toning, or things like that. But yeah, I was actually, yesterday, Valentine's Day, I was walking through Ikea with my boyfriend and a lady walked past me And I did not see her, but I knew that she's a lady walking past me and she legit said something that she, she wasn't talking to anybody else. She wasn't walking with anybody else, but she walked past me and right as she walked past me, she said something in light language. It sounded like a very, uh, pleasing, um, I don't know. I don't know if it, it's called Andromedan or Octorian, one of those that is a very high-pitched light language, a very happy sounding high-pitched light language, I think it's Octorian, but she said something to me and it sounded like a, because I was having a really happy, awesome day yesterday, so I was in a really good mood and I was in a really good mood in Ikea and everything, so I don't know, it almost sounded like a chiming in, like, oh yeah, this is a great day, hi, like almost like a greeting and an, and a recognition of how great the day that I, I was having. So yeah, that was really interesting to me. So yeah, 
If I have anything else that I feel like sharing, then I'll pop in and say hi again. Otherwise, I've just been going to school and eating my avocados and doing the best that I can. And I hope that you guys have a beautiful rest of your day and thank you for watching.